So I've been running into real problems with the uh, Alpha project at this moment. Uh, the automatic gearbox is not helping. Uh, the first, everything was fine. I had a reverse, uh, forward motion was fine. I could shift from the first gear to the fourth gear uh, terrifically, but uh, I all of a sudden lost my uh, reverse gear. And when I put it in reverse, there was no traction. It shifts into the reverse. It feels like it shifts into reverse, just like it shifts into the drive. Um, but it just doesn't do anything. Hello and welcome to my channel of these adventures. If you are new here and you ask yourself what this channel is all about, I will explain. I am refurbishing an Alfa Romeo 156 with a 2.5 V6 engine and it's from uh, 2001. Uh, sometimes I will upload a, a video to YouTube uh, so you can follow the progress. So I've started diagnosing the car uh, and the problem with the automatic transmission and uh, I started with disconnecting the solenoid connection from the gearbox so it's not electrically uh, connected anymore and then I try to put it into reverse so when it's not connected to the electrical components it should go into reverse manually but it did not, it did not do anything which points to uh, some internal leakages of the reverse uh, hydraulic circuit or it should be the C1, C2 uh, drum that is broken and uh, my first thought was that it should have been uh, the valve body so I exchanged it with my spare uh, gearbox valve body to see if that was actually the problem. So the reason uh, that I think the valve body is the problem, uh, a year or a year and a half ago, I've refurbished the gearbox. You can also find some videos in my uh, playlist on my channel. And uh, what the problem was is I could not get the, the gaskets for the valve body. These are not attainable anymore. So. What I needed to do is make the surfaces flat as possible and hope that it will work without the gaskets. And uh, so I have uh, put the valve body together without the gaskets and uh, I thought uh, well, that should be the problem and uh, this would solve it immediately if I had ex exchanged the uh, valve body with a valve body where I'm 100% sure uh, I have worked uh, before. Unfortunately, after testing the um, testing the valve body and the and the automatic gearbox uh, with the new um, valve body, uh, the reverse still did not work. Didn't improve in any way. Uh, also, when driving forward, it did not Im improve. There was not a difference between uh, the valve body with the gaskets or the other valve bo body from my automatic uh, uh, gearbox spare. And uh, so that was not the problem, and I did not find uh, the issue yet. So what I expected was that uh, the clutch one and clutch two drum was broken, or that there was something wrong with it. So I had to put the uh, uh, spare transmission uh, on uh, on uh, my uh, uh, revision uh, um, standard and uh, take that off, and to see if the clutch. Uh, assembly would uh, be disassembled, could be disassembled from uh, the gearbox without removing the complete gearbox. Fortunately, after um, putting the spare gearbox onto the revision standard, I could uh, disassemble the uh, clutch drum without any problems at all. I could just pull it out and uh, without uh, damaging or or making it unable to reassemble again. So I tested it a few times and I could really uh, exchange those parts without any uh, problems. So then it was, uh, um, so, so then was the question if I could do that on the car itself and it seems to me that uh, there is a lot of room to do this. 
and it, uh, it is really easy. So it's just removing the left uh, front wheel and removing uh, the cover and then you can just access this C1 and C2 drum to exchange it. And so I exchanged it with the uh, spare uh, gearbox uh, drum and I was really confident that this would be the problem and that it would solve my uh, my uh, reverse uh, problems with the gearbox. So after exchanging the C1 and the C2 uh, clutch drum, um, I've tested it and it still has no reverse. It would feel like it goes into reverse, but it, when you uh, step on the gas, and uh, it just doesn't do anything. Um, and I'm really at a loss here. I've also tried after reassembling the car and testing it to uh, disconnect the speed sensor that is located on top of the um, C C1, C2 uh, drum and see if it then reacts, but it does not react any. In any way, and, and again, a forward motion, shifting, it's really good. So, um, it should point out to you internal leakages somewhere else or um, another mechanical defect inside of the uh, freshly refurbished gearbox. So unfortunately, I think I have to remove the complete gearbox again, um, completely open it and see if there is something I can find inside of it. And if if there if you know people or if you have more uh, experience with these uh, um, uh, gearboxes, please let me know because I don't know how to uh, how to repair the reverse at this moment because I was so close to getting it uh, through the uh, uh, testing to get the, this car on the road back on the road again. So I'm uh, I'm a little bit disappointed, but I will not give up. I have contacted uh, a, a professional um, automatic transmission refurbishing uh, company here uh, near my living place and we will see if they can uh, point me in the right direction or fix it for me because uh, I don't want to spend that much time anymore on, to, on the gearbox. I've learned a lot from the gearbox and how it works. I've tried literally everything I could think of looked into the hydraulic uh, schematics of these uh, this specific gearbox i've looked into the uh, electronic components i've really checked everything i could but i cannot solve this uh, this problem at the moment so that's very unfortunate but fortunately i've done I've, i could have dr i've dri driven the car for the first time and uh, it really feels good the engine runs like a charm and uh, that really satisfies me that at least the uh, rebuild of the engine has gone uh, exactly as I wanted to and uh, that I have forward motion and that the car can drive again. And uh, that we don't have a reverse anymore, it's just a minor setback. So that's uh, the status of the project at this moment. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will upload some new videos soon.
Ja, vi är fast. Ja, vi är fast. 